Participants at the engagement, including Governor Sir Ka Ausiku, did not mince their words, calling on the companies to improve their services with immediate effect. Our community, as I said, they are frustrated. They are angry. And they are fed up with service delivery as far as provision of electricity is concerned in our region. The business owners in attendance are also feeling the pinch at the regular power outages, including unscheduled ones. Every time when the power dips or when there's a power outage without any uh, uh, knowledge, it costs us at least 160 bread, plus the dough in the, in the mixes. And I think that costs a lot of money. We cannot just afford it. Time by time by time. Coming from Oshkoto, from Chumel, and if there's a, there's a failure on that line, the town goes automatically to Omatango. Well, it's not a big line, it's another one, but at least we have constant power. Uh, uh, I cannot even remember when last time I experienced power failure, but when we opened business in Kurenkuru, my goodness, we, we made big losses. The residents called on Nampower to introduce a second supply line to the Kavanko West region and a dedicated kilovolt line from Kurenkuru. A bigger transformer where you can have maybe a plan going forward where you can connect directly Kavango West to assist Mpazi instead of us relying on Chumeb. I don't know whether is that also in your strategic plan. Think of it and note it down. I just want to emphasize on the issue of uh, Kurenkuru getting its own substation, as well as the linkage directly to Tumeb. I think this point, we raised it even last year when we had uh, an engagement with Noret. I don't think the response that was provided was satisfactory. And even now, I don't think I'm convinced enough that this cannot be done as a matter of agency. The Oshikoto Masivi line from Tsumeb and Rundu is the only supplying power to the two Kavango regions. Nkorenkuru is supplied on a rural line unlike all urban centers which causes frequent power interruption at the town. Nam Power's head for system security and planning Kandara Mukusuka says plans are in the pipeline to upgrade the Masivi Mpasi substations link to improve the quality of supply. Mukusuka proposed that a redundancy line direct to Kavanko West could also be an alternative to consider in future network planning. Um, for me, being part of this stakeholder me uh, meeting has really enlightened me to say that we really need to improve the power quality supply to this area. And again, it's been highlighted, most of the towns have direct, uh, direct supply. And I would also point out to say that the challenge we have is that the load currently from Kurenkuru is, is uh, about a 1 MBA or just about that. And to bring that on a 132 KV line can be very challenging. So we are going to look at the, the, the medium term solution that can, that can address that. But the long term solution is I've indicated the 132 KV line that will come from uh, Masivi towards uh, Kurenkuru. North's technical executive patent, France, says Kavanko West along with Kavanko East and Zambezi are prone to lightning strikes causing power outages. France also emphasized the need to guard against vandalism of power infrastructure through theft of copper wire.